Hey, Allison. Thanks for joining me today. Sure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, so we're going to we're going to run through kind of uh, a few questions here just around your experience um, going through the remodeler marketing blueprint. So um, I guess first question is just what did your marketing look like before you found Builder Funnel and kind of started talking to us about our program? Oh, in a word, I'd say our marketing was scattered. It was, mm. uh, it was, we were definitely trying to do it. You know, it was something we valued. We weren't, I know, I know in remodeling a lot of times people don't necessarily see marketing as an essential thing, especially when business is booming, but we always valued it. We just didn't really know how to put together a cohesive strategy. So I feel like we kind of invested in, okay, we're going to, we're going to do some blogging and now we're going to do some social media and not really understanding how the pieces fit together. So there was always something going on, but not really with any intentionality. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, we hear that a lot. And then I guess uh, next up would be when you came to us, was was that the problem that you were trying to solve or was it something specific where you're like, I'm trying to solve X, Y, Z and that's why I'm talking to you? Yeah, well, we were, we were in the middle of um, strategically planning our coming year and on, on the heels of a couple of years of growth. And part of that growth was sort of niching down into certain types of projects. So we were kind of narrowing our focus, but at the same time, the business was getting bigger and we knew that we wanted to make an intentional push in a certain direction. And I, I think we had more clarity on where we wanted to go than we ever had before. So we had been talking about a marketing plan for that. And the problem is when you aren't a marketing expert and you're talking about putting together a marketing plan, you know, you kind of start with Googling how to build a marketing plan. <laughs> There's a little bit too much to learn to, to do it well uh, right out of the gate. So we would invest a lot of time in past years trying to put together a plan that would never the pieces would never fit well together. We never really understood where we were going with it. Um, and so when I found about, out about the blueprint, it seemed like the perfect solution for us because it wasn't the implementation that was a problem. Like we, we had staff to implement, we had a desire to implement, but we didn't know how to build that blueprint. And so that just appealed to me right out of the gate that if I could take the burden of the planning and the strategy off of my plate and, and give it to someone who had that knowledge, then it could really give us momentum just going into the new year. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so what was it, do you feel like, um, in learning about the blueprint that like really sold it for you? We're like, yep, this is going to, this is going to be the right thing for us. <laughs> uh, well, I, I looked at uh, an information sheet that had listed out everything that was included in it and just talked about all of the pieces working together. And I think that something clicked in my mind and I began to see that this is a, this is a long-term strategy. It's not just doing marketing activities for the sake of doing something, but it's actually building layer upon layer of something that's an investment in the future. And I think it, it, it went from something that needed to be on my to-do list to something that needed to be really woven into the strategy of our business growth going forward. And that was the realization I needed to kind of jump on board with, you know, we need to be willing to bring it really invest in this and bring in the experts and not treat it as a peripheral thing that we know we need to do, but we're going to figure it out on our own. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, I'm curious, like there's probably I I don't know, a zillion marketing companies out there. Like you could have gotten a marketing plan somewhere else. Probably like, why did you go with Builder Funnel? Well, you know, it seems like since I heard about Builder Funnel, we've always been, the timing has always been right. <laughs> so the first time that I um, heard of you guys was when I was at a business conference, an extreme business makeover conference. And we had been talking about our social media and wanting to make that more consistent. And at the time, you had just come out with the done for you social media plan. And I heard about that there. And I said, oh, that's exactly what we need. We need help to, you know, make that a more consistent thing and not so time consuming for me. 
And so that felt like a great match. And then a couple of years later, we were again, trying to work on learning more about building a good marketing plan. We had a marketing assistant coming on and I was looking for more education opportunities. And you had your um, Builder Funnel Academy, which was, you know, the timing of that was perfect as well. And so when, and through those experiences, we've just been so impressed with the knowledge and the communication. And you have such a great team of people with diverse specialties and but they, they all just make us feel like they're our cheerleaders and they're there to help us and so great about answering questions. So when I heard about the blueprint, I had no hesitation at all um, working with you guys because between the experience we'd had and the podcast that, you'd, that you do that we listen to, we just felt completely comfortable right away. Cool. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, sounds like, yeah, timing, timing was right on uh, over a multi-year span there. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess, uh, you know, the blueprint, it's a higher price point, bigger investment, like we're talking about full marketing strategy. Um, mm -hmm. I guess, do you feel like you, you got the value in that investment? Absolutely. In fact, uh, I got a lot more than I was anticipating. And I wasn't sure what to expect when I first heard about it in terms of pricing, because I kind of, I got some information and processed it and was talking to my husband about it before we got the pricing information. We were kind of trying to guess like, how much do you think this, <laughs> how much do you think this is going to cost us if we want to do this? But I went into it with an open mind of, you know, saying, I, I'm going to find out how much it costs, but I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, that's too much. I'm not until I have time to process it. Um, so when we started talking about the investment, it really became a conversation about you know, what is, what is the cost effectiveness when you think about the time that I, as a business owner would be spending on this, how, how many hours is this going to save me? How much stress is this going to save? And then on top of that, how much more of a return on investment are we going to get? Because the marketing plan we have is so much better than what we would have come up with ourselves. So it, when I thought of it, about it that way, it was, it was a no brainer to do it. Um, and when it was delivered to us, it was so much more comprehensive and um, the, the amount of market research and just the clarity of everything that was laid out for us was way beyond even what I expected at that point. So we absolutely thought it was worth it. And we've already planned into our budget to continue, you know, working with you guys moving forward. Right on. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what do you think your favorite part of the blueprint was? Uh, well, I, I'm a blog lover. So having the blog content laid out and planned for the year with the parts of blog writing that I don't enjoy, like coming up with the right title and worrying about the keywords and things like that was really empowering to me. So now I have my whole year planned out of the blog posts that I want to write that I'm excited to write. And I feel like now I have a framework all set up for me so I can sit down and instead of agonizing over you know, what angle do I want to take on this? I already have some prompts there and I can just enjoy the, the writing process. So that was really my favorite part of it. Cool. Cool. Yeah. It's nice when you can just sit down and go, okay, I know I'm writing about this and you have yeah. confidence that that's the right, right. right thing to be writing about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about results. You guys are only maybe a few months into actually implementing the stuff that we outlined in the blueprint. Okay. Um, what have you noticed there so far? Well, like I said, we're, we're learning how to read reports and, and read the results ourselves. We have noticed an obvious uptick in the, the number of leads that we're getting. Um, so I'm excited to see as the months go by and as we learn more about reading what those results, you know, where they're coming from, I understand that better. Um, we've definitely noticed our organic search uh, results going up, which is, I know that's what we want. So that's exciting. And some of the website pages that were outlined for us to create right at the beginning of the year have already gotten a lot of traffic and, and comments from clients. So um, yeah, I think it's just, I feel like we were building a, a more robust website and we're starting to see, see some of the results of that just in the conversations that we have with people calling in. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It's, um, 
as you know, like it's, it's the organic side is a more of a long-term building process, but you can get those, those early wins and quick wins, um, as you kind of are on that, that journey. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess, uh, you know, in thinking about other remodelers that are maybe in, in similar shoes to you, um, and they're on the fence, you know, in terms of making this type of investment or whether it's the blueprint or even just marketing in general, because, uh, that hasn't always been top of mind for remodelers and like, let's go invest in marketing. Um, yeah. What would you say to somebody that's just on the fence about, um, implementing both a marketing strategy followed by execution? Well, I think it would depend on why they're on the fence about it. Um, I think that if someone is, is hesitating because of the investment, then I would ask, you know, what do you really need to get in return for it to be worth the investment? And when you think about it, you know, selling, selling a couple of extra jobs and, you know, it's, it's easy to recoup that cost if you're going to implement the plan well. And the, like I said, the amount of time that you save and the burden that is taken off of the, the business owner then and their, and their team, um, that time can then be spent and that energy can be spent on other things that can help you prof- propel you forward as well. So as far as the investment, like I said, I feel like logically, if you think about it, it's absolutely worth it. Um, if someone's hesitating because they're not sure if marketing is really important enough to invest in, maybe they're, they have so many leads, they don't know what to do with them right now. I would say what happens when things get slow and that's always when people are like, oh, I need to start marketing because I don't have, <laughs> I don't have enough work coming in. And we've been in business long enough. We've, we've been through the ebbs and flows of the market. And we, we, early on, we did that, you know, we didn't do marketing. And then when things would slow down, all of a sudden it was, you know, what can we do to get business now? And you have to remember, like you said, marketing is a long-term strategy and the time to market is when things are strong so that when things are slower, they're not as slow for you because you have that steady income of leads. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't have said it better myself. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and I like thinking about it just in investment terms, you know, like um, those investments start to pay dividends into the future. And so if you don't have a need now, that's oftentimes the best right. time to, to start investing. Yeah. Um, in thinking about the blueprint, what's something that could have been better or, or we could uh, improve on? Oh boy. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good question. I, I want to be able to answer it, but I'm um, I've been so happy with it. Um, I, I would say the only thing that was challenging for us is that we are not working. We love Asana. And so having the blueprint put into a project management system is, is a fabulous idea. And that's a great program, but we already use a, a similar, but different one. And because we have so much of our, so many of our other systems in there, we decided to move it from one program into another and that was somewhat time consuming. Um, but again, that was our personal choice that, you know, we, we knew that it would be easier for us to stay on top of all the moving pieces if they were all in one place. So I think, you know, again, I'm not sure that that's a criticism of it because I think it's, it's better to deliver it in a form like that for someone. If someone did not already have another system, that would be an excellent place for it to be. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, maybe we'll work on a, some sort of import export uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, in, into the future. Um, cool. Well, if you um, had to, I guess, um, scale of one to 10, you know, 10 being, I would highly recommend Builder Funnel and the Blueprint, zero, like, don't don't bother with them. Uh, how, would you, <laughs> how would you rank? <laughs> Uh, I, I can honestly say I would rank you guys a 10 at this point. I, I just, I'm blown away by your knowledge. I feel like your team serves people so well. Um, and we've just been thrilled, thrilled with everything that we've gotten from you guys over the years and the way we've been treated. So we, we feel like, we feel like we're a part of your company too. Like we're all part of the same team. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it more fun when it feels that way. Uh, So no, I appreciate that. And then um, I guess we'll just to wrap up anything open-ended, you know, anything you'd like to add in or share or make comments on? I will say, you know, this is not really um, related to feedback on the blueprint, but there is so much to learn. And I think that the, um, 
a lot of this reading the reports and learning how to track the things in HubSpot is something I'd love to learn more about. And I don't know if that's something you guys offer as a service or have considered, but we could certainly use some more help with in that area. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we should, we should talk more about that. Cause yeah, there's, as you know, the deeper you get into it, then it seems like there's even yeah. more to learn. <laughs> I know. I don't even know what questions to ask sometimes, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> Cool. Um, well, anyway, thank, thanks, Allison, for sharing your experience and uh, some feedback on the blueprint. I appreciate your time today. Sure. Thank you.